Hello, this is George Edmondson with MotionVFX.com. Today, we're going to be looking into generators and drop zones and specifically what causes still frames to happen within some drop zones, why some drop zones will play video, why some are just still frames, and how to fix this. Now, there are some Apple limitations regarding drop zones, but it is a very simple fix and I'm going to show you how to do it today. So we're here in Final Cut Pro and we're looking at Project 1684, which is available on motionvfx.com. This template specifically is talking about real estate. Let's say uh, you're gonna have an open house, you're wanting to show off a neighborhood, something like that. So I have loaded within a few of my drop zones, just a few of these clips and you see the video is playing back fine. Now we're gonna get to drop zone number four, which is bedrooms and I'm gonna show you what's happening um, currently and then how we were able to fix this and then I will show you how uh, how to do it. So over in our inspector, let's go ahead and scroll down on this generator until we see drop zone number four, which is going to be right here, drop zone number four and we have no source. So to apply drop zone, we know that we can click the drop zone well and then we can go over and we can select our footage. In this case, we're talking about a master bedroom, which is going to be this clip right here. Now notice that this clip bleeds over into a bathroom. I do not want that. I only want this first clip. So I'm going to click it. But notice what happens. We're in the bathroom instead of at the beginning. Now, one of the reasons this is happening is because within our timeline, drop zone number four isn't happening until well into the generator, as you can see here. We're all the way down here before we get to that generator. We really don't want to show the bathroom off. We want to show the bedroom off. So I'm going to hit cancel. And instead, what I have done is I have brought our clip down beneath my timeline and I have matched up where that drop zone number four is happening within a compound clip. And inside that compound clip, I just added a black custom generator. And now our timeline should match up with our clip within our drop zone. So let's click drop zone number four. And now we are going to select the beginning of this master bedroom compound clip. And we're just going to kind of push forward. There we go. So I didn't get it exactly perfect. That's okay because notice I can select within my compound clip until I get to that first frame. There we go. And now we can click apply clip because of that transition. And we should see, boom, it's going to transition in. We still have our bedroom. There we go. Beautiful and then it fades right into the next one. So there's a few other things that we can do to fix this. This is a 30 frames per second clip and we're in a 2398 timeline. So I'm gonna go into my compound clip here and I'm going to just select this. We're going to go into our retiming, click automatic speed and it's gonna slow this clip down just a bit. Let's go back out of our compound clip here and now let's go back to our drop zone well number four. I'm going to select that. And then I'm going to just click until I notice that we see that in that transition, we do have our video playing, which is right there. Now click apply clip. And as we scroll down, we see our video and now it's playing nice and slowly. We have enough time and boom, it is now going into our living room shot. So why don't we do this from scratch? We see that our living room is coming up next, which is drop zone number five. So I'm just going to scroll down until I see drop zone number five. We know that we want to use this shot here for our living room. So I'm just going to pick this shot up. I'm going to bring it down into our timeline. For now, I'm going to tap V to disable both of these clips and we can see that is the beginning of our clip there. I'm going to go ahead and retime this just to make sure that it is going to work within our, there we go. It's nice and slow. All right. 
so we know that this is the clip we want to use. I'm going to re-enable by tapping V. And let's go all the way back so we know that right here is the beginning of that drop zone. So I'm going to bring my clip back just a little bit. Fantastic. Let's go down to our solids. We can just grab a custom generator here. Boom, we're going to set the beginning of our custom generator there at the beginning. Highlight both of these, click option G. Let's go ahead and name this. We know that this is going to be living room. Now the good thing is you could delete these and then just work within your uh, libraries sidebar if you wanted to, but I don't mind keeping them in the timeline, no big deal. Now something else to mention, um, using compound clips as a drop zone source may also help you with the still frame issue uh, in other areas if you ever are running into that. So uh, we also have a tutorial about that as well. You should check out. And another thing to add to avoid any Final Cut related issues such as colorization errors, uh, still frames like I mentioned, um, and also it'll optimize your workflow, uh, be sure not to place the video material from the timeline on the drop zone. Put your footage in a compound clip and then place the compound clip in the drop zone instead uh, as we did here. And that way, like I said, you will likely avoid um, a lot of those errors that you might be running into at the moment uh, regarding still frames, uh, colorization issues, stuff like that. So now let's come down until we get to our living room tab, which is right there. We're going to go over in our inspector down to drop zone number five. There it is right here. Click this and we can go to the beginning of our living room clip and boom, that actually worked because I timed it up properly. But like I said, if you don't get it perfectly, you can just kind of skim around and start wherever you need within that compound clip. But because we timed that perfectly, now we're in good shape and it's in that transition. Let's click apply clip. And we should see, we go out of that master bedroom, boom. And now we get to see our living room clip. Fantastic. So the next one would be bathrooms. Well, remember that we have a bathroom clip coming out of our master bedroom, right? We already have this here. So let's go into drop zone number seven. You're going to like this a lot. Well, is that drop zone number seven or number? Oh, it's drop zone number six. Okay. Good thing I checked. We're going to go to drop zone number six right there at the beginning. Drop zone number six. And let's click around until we see that that is going to be in our bathroom. Okay, so we know that will be boom. And now we're in our bathroom. It is a still, we don't want that. Let's click again. Let's find where we're toward the beginning of that bathroom clip in the compound clip. All right, so we see that it's gonna be moving. There we go. Let's keep clicking. Great, so we're in the bathroom now. Apply clip. Let's make sure that we've got a video happening. Boom. Now we're inside the bathroom. We are moving, everything is wonderful. And then it's gonna go into our kitchen. And you just continue that process. So you can use the same compound clip and just change your starting point if you need to. And that is going to eliminate your still frames. You're going to get that video playing. And it's going to help you retime um, each of those clips so that you know for a fact that they, that they are going to hit within the project or within the template, within the generator that you are using. I hope these tips were helpful for you. Again, this is George Edmondson with MotionVFX.com. Be sure to subscribe. We'll see you on the next one.